Hi guys, today it is all about banana bread and who doesn't love banana bread? So I'm going to show you how to make my Auntie Anne's most beautiful, moist, addictive, sweet banana bread. It is so good and it's so easy to make. So it starts off with a little bit of butter and a little bit of sugar in a bowl. Now you can do this in a food mixer if you want to, but I'm going to show you how easy it is just to do it with a normal bowl and a normal spoon. Very, very simple. So cast the sugar in with your softened butter. Really important that your butter is nice and soft because otherwise it's going to take a long time to beat up. Look at it. We've got this wonderful, pale, smooth mixture and now it's ready for the addition of some eggs. So I've got two large free range eggs. And the great thing about this banana bread is that it is wonderful as a base recipe and you can add lots of other ingredients like dark chocolate chips, if you can get in there with some seeds, whatever way you want to do it, it's totally up to you, but use this as your base recipe and you'll be good to go. Okay, time for that second egg. So once that's nicely mixed, it's time for our dry ingredients. Now, I'm using self-raising flour and a little bit of baking soda, so I have that mixed in here, but a good tip is to make sure that you sieve it, just to make sure that it's nice and fine when you dump it in like this. Just a drop of vanilla extract. Wonderful fragrance of vanilla and bananas just works so well together. So just fold that through. At this moment in time, we are missing the key ingredient in here. So I have some beautiful bananas. Now, these are kind of your normal bananas you'll get in the supermarket, but if you have those bananas that have gone a little bit brown around the edges, they look a little bit black, they are perfect for baking and they're even better than the ones I have here. So use them up in this banana bread. I've got three bananas and I'm just gonna peel them and mash them up until I have a smooth, smooth, silky paste. Three beautiful bananas, all ready to rock straight in on top of our mixture. And that is it, they are all the ingredients you need. Very few to make the most beautiful banana bread. So give that a good mix through. And then I'm gonna tumble this out into a baking tin, which I have over here. Floured, buttered, doing all those ones. Oh, hang on, I'm in a spin. Um, <laughs> it's floured and it's buttered and it's gonna go into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius. The only thing about having so much moisture in there from the bananas is that it does take a little bit of time to cook, so it's nearly an hour in the oven. Get that straight into your little baking tin. This is a classic banana bread. I'm not gonna mess around with it too much. So just spread it out so it's nice and even on top. And then this goes straight into the oven to bake up and become beautiful. The smell in this kitchen right now is pretty epic. And there is one reason. It is because of this little baby. This beautiful banana bread has come out of the oven and it has cooled ever so slightly, which is how I can pick it up. And I've taken it out of the tin, so now I want to slice it up. It's a really great little kind of cake to have alongside a cup of tea or a bit of coffee. And look at the interior, you get that running through with a little bit of banana and you can feel that it's incredibly moist. It is going to be so delicious. The great thing about that moisture is it's going to help to keep that banana bread. So it keeps for one or two days if you keep it in an airtight container. Now, taste test. Mm. Oh, I love banana bread. If you don't like bananas, this is not for you. But if you love bananas, this is the recipe you need to try. You can get it on my website, click on the link and you'll follow through. Leave me a comment and tell me what sort of recipes, those baking recipes you're dying to see me make. And of course, share this on Twitter and Instagram and give me a like. I'll see you soon. Happy banana bread. <laughs>